What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive standing up today with one of the three new flavors of the new Monster Hydro line. This is basically Monster Energy Drinks take on like a Gatorade or a Powerade, except it actually consists of about 125 milligrams of caffeine and sugar and everything you've probably come to enjoy with the Monster uh, Energy line. Now what I love about this is the container. This is definitely a front runner for uh, packaging of the year. It's like a clear can. Still has the top right there, yeah, like a normal can, but it is see-through, so there you go. Really, really cool. So we are not gonna waste any more time. This is Manic Melon. I'm actually going to release one of the other flavors a little bit later on in the day, and at the end of this video, I will introduce you to that flavor. You'll get to know each other, and then I will yank it away. You have to wait a couple hours to see. But this is Manic Melon right there. Wish me luck, the new Monster Hydro Powerade Gatorade drink. All right, here we go. Let's give a little smell test first. Yeah, there's like a subdued like melon scent on this bad boy. So wish me luck, the Manic Melon Hydro from Monster. Throwing their hat into the sports drink arena. Here we go. All right, right off the bat, this is like a more subdued melon flavor, kind of like a watered down, almost diet tasting melon flavor. And I'll be upfront with you, I'm not a 100% fan of Monster Energy drinks in general. I like a couple other brands a little bit better, but uh, let's go in for another sip. Yeah. This is sweet, definitely has a melon taste to it. Not so much sure about the manic part of that, but um, I don't know, for me, it's sweet, but at the same time, it leaves you an aftertaste, and I am not on board with the aftertaste. I think that's what kind of throws me off with a lot of the Monster Energy drinks. Let's go in for a third sip. I'll give this a rating, but uh, early returns on this, eh. All right, so let's rate this, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning, don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm going to give the brand new Manic Melon Hydro from the folks over at Monster a rating of, Sixty-five. I'm going to give this a 65. I do not love it. I will probably not buy this flavor again. I still have the other flavor to check out. But off of Jump Street, a couple sips into that. I don't like the aftertaste. It is a subdued melon taste. And it is not that sweet, at least not sweet enough for me. But that aftertaste is what is killing it. Not in a good way. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, please comment and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I've been doing this lately. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement out to the masses. So in closing, have you seen this? Have you tried this? And I don't even think the stores here know what this is all about. I don't think they know how to categorize it because I found this like between like the aspirin and like cat food. No. Bonus footage. All right, like I promised, Tropical Thunder. Not to be confused by Tropic Thunder, but Hydro Tropical Thunder will be the next flavor that I'm going to be trying. That video will probably come up a couple hours after this one, five minutes after this one, next day. I don't even know, but it's gonna come after it. It will be today, I promise you that. It is going to be Hydro Thursday. Just rolls off the tongue.